Hi, I'm Dr. Patty Quinlis with the State Health Department. Today I'm going to talk to you about how to collect a stool sample. Now what is stool? Well stool is just another name for feces or poop or number two, it's all the same. But we need to collect a little bit of it because we need to find out what's making you sick. And not only do we need to find out what's making you sick, there's another reason we collect this. And that's because other people may be getting sick too. There may be people in your community or the state or around the country who are getting sick with the same bug that's making you sick. We need to find that out because there may be a food out there that's making a lot of people sick. Now, don't be embarrassed. Just remember everybody poops and, you know, it's okay. So don't get upset by this and wonder why we're asking you to do this. It's simple. We need to get a stool sample to find out why you are getting sick. So let's go ahead and do this. So how do you go about collecting a stool sample? Well, you should be given a kit by your nurse or doctor. And in that kit are instructions, the box itself, and a test request form. All of these are important. But before you get started, remember a couple things. We don't want you to take any medicines unless your doctor has instructed you to. And wash your hands before we get started. Now, we also need you to get one more thing and that's what you're going to collect your stool in. You don't want to collect it in that vial that you're going to find in the kit. You're going to want to first collect that stool in some kind of a, maybe a kitchen container that's been cleaned and washed out, or maybe your doctor gave you a special kit, or you can even use a plastic wrap or a kitchen bag. Now, how do you use that? Well, take it and put it either over the toilet seat itself, or you can put it underneath the seat around the bowl of the toilet. The important thing here is that there's a depression in the middle to catch that stool and you don't want it to be touching the water. So, I think we're ready to begin. Let's go. Sit down on the toilet and pass stool into the container that you're holding beneath you or into that plastic that you stretched over the seat. Now try not to let any urine mix with the stool. You really want that stool to be only stool. And if some of that stool manages to get into the toilet bowl in that water, don't scoop it out. We can't use that. Now, once you've gotten the stool in that container of some kind or in that plastic, you're ready to use the kit. So open up the kit and on the inside you'll find a transport vial, you'll find some absorbent material, and then a plastic bag that's marked biohazard, a styrofoam container, and of course the box itself. So grab that transport vial and there's a couple things you need to notice. There's a label. You need to fill out that label and attach it to the transport vial. Also, there's some fluid in that vial. This is supposed to be there. Don't pour it out. And you'll also notice that there's a lid and attached to the lid is something called a scoop or a spork. This is to help you move the stool from that container into the vial. Now, when you look at your stool, if you notice any blood or mucus, try to pick that part of your stool to put in the vial. That may be the part where that bacteria or virus is hiding. Now, how much do you need to use? Well, not very much. Sort of a couple navy beans or a couple of peas. Bottom line is you put enough in so that fluid will rise up to the fill line. Then you'll know you have enough. Now, what if you have liquid stool? Well, that's okay too. Obviously, you're sick and we need to find out what's making you sick. So, take the spoon part of that lid and just scoop some of the liquid stool and put that in again until that liquid goes up to the fill line. Now, once you've got it in, make sure you tighten that lid down tight. Take that absorbent material and put it around the vial and then go, go wash your hands. Next thing we need to do is make sure that that test request form is fully filled out. This is really important so the lab knows who specimen's coming in and who to report it to. So that top portion is the information about you. Make sure it's filled out and has all of your information on it. Then over on the specimen type, make sure that the stool part is checked so that they know what they're getting in that vial. At the bottom of the form is the part that should have the name and address of your doctor, so the lab will know who to tell when they find out what's making you sick. So, you've tightened the lid, you've got your label on the vial, and you've got it wrapped up with that absorbent material. So now take the vial and put it inside that plastic bag and seal it up tight. Take the form, fold it, and insert it in the pocket that's on the outside of that plastic bag. 
Then roll up the whole thing and put it in the styrofoam container and slide the styrofoam container into the shipping box. Now you need to return the kit. Your nurse or doctor may have said to bring the kit back to the office, but they may just tell you to go ahead and put it in the mail and mail it to the lab yourself. If you have any questions regarding how to get stool and collect it or the stool collection kit itself, you can call the State Hygienic Lab at 319-335-4335 or visit the website at www.uhl.uiowa.edu and they'll be able to help you. Good luck.